Cyclists came from all over Scotland today to give the government a message. Friends of the Earth were there to graphically demand, we want to see double. This is a demand for the government to double investment on cycling infrastructure and safety. What do we want? We want to When do we want it? I think it shows quite clearly that cycling is a lot of people's thing. This isn't a niche activity, it's something that's growing all the time. We're all aware of more cyclists when we're cycling into work or school, and that's something that we want to see increase because the numbers of cyclists here are, are woefully low compared to those on the continent. study suggests that the cost-benefit analysis of investment in cycling just makes it so sensible. Its returns are mega compared to investing in, in more road building schemes. So if the government doubled the budget, as Stop Climate Chaos are asking, we really could start to see a big difference in the feel, in the safe feeling that people would have cycling. Yeah, I think this is a very clear demonstration that there are lots of people in Scotland who want us to do better on cycling and walking. We care about climate change. And climate change is the really big issue. We're building up to more global targets when we come to Paris in 2015. That's when everyone's agreed to set new global targets. And the world needs good examples. And we have a really good example in in theory in Scotland in the Climate Change Act but what we need is to actually deliver on that so we've missed the first couple of targets we need to make sure that we're delivering and part of delivering is making sure we put money in the right place so if we shift money from roads and spend it instead on cycling and walking we will be making a difference and that will show our commitment to meeting climate targets and to honoring the Climate Act that we passed in 2009 because at the moment the portion of our transport budget spent on walking and cycling is <laughs> Tiny, it's about 1% of our transport budget and 25% of our climate emissions come from road transport. So we need a big shift away from the car into things like walking and cycling. And this is an enormous opportunity to achieve that. Are you really anti-cars? Well, we're, what we are for is, is reducing emissions and of course cars are responsible for the big amount of our emissions. So in that sense we're more for cycling, more for walking and we know that that has great health benefits as well as helping us with climate emissions. To let them know what we want by ringing your bell, stamping your feet and making a noise. Thank you.